How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Set, and welcome back to another episode of the Byzantium uh, Basilius campaign. I don't, I don't really know what I'm actually going to call this campaign now that I think about it. Uh, but anyways, welcome back to episode two. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue and try to get this alliance with Poland. The problem is, I don't think we're actually going to be able to get it unless we somehow get a little more relation than we have right now. Because we have 100% relation. Uh, we should also try to marry Hungary. Okay, there we go. And here's the problem, as you can see. They both are at 48. Actually, Poland's at 49 reasons for the alliance. But they are not... They, have, they still will not actually give us that. But I think what we're going to do is... This seems like a waste, because it kind of is a waste, but... We're going to actually take out a loan just so that we can have a extra troop just for a second. We're not even going to use this troop, but no, oh, it still didn't. Maybe we have to wait a month. Let's wait till the end of the month. Oh, there we go. Poland will now ally us. Okay, so we have the alliance with Poland. Okay, so they, oh my god, that's hilarious. The great power of Poland has started influence nation. This increases our opinion of them by 25 for 10 years. We also receive one monarch point in e the category we currently have the lowest gain in. So where would that be? There we go. Administrative. Okay, that's good. Cool. Now we're never going to be able to get Poland as an ally, but still, that's fine. Uh, okay, so we are allied to Poland now. So this is good. This is what you have to do early on if you want to... You know, have any chance of success in this game. So now that we have that, uh, we are at our relationship limit. So now we should focus on other stuff. We have a free diplomat now. Let's go ahead and focus on integrating you. And we will also maybe go ahead and start fabricating claims on the Ottomans. Uh, I do think that the Ottomans are really the only viable... You have to kill the Ottomans early on. You know, you have to get the upper hand soon. Sooner rather than later. Um... So that's what we're going to try to do, you know? We're going to try to go ahead and uh, and uh, attack the Ottomans whenever we can, whenever it's possible. They don't have any allies, so, you know, it, it could be possible. But the thing is, we need to have Poland on our side. And we can't really get Poland in unless we promise them land, I'm assuming at least. Yeah, no, Poland will not actually... Oh, they have a truce with them, first of all. That's probably one reason why. Uh, until 1450. Alright, so we have until at least then to actually kind of chill out and see what we're going to do. So we need to figure out what are we going to do about our whole Navy thing. Because this is kind of a, a bad situation to be losing this much money. And I'm not sure. I suppose we'll lower our army maintenance, but it really sucks to have to do that. Um, gain ducats. We need the ducats. That's cool, though, that we had an option there. What is our current leader? Um, what are his things? Foreign spy detection and possible advisors. And our son is land leader shock plus one. Okay, that's not super great, but it's not super bad. Or, none of these are super great. This one is probably the best, but none of them are bad. Oh, you know what? We also have this advisor. That's probably the other reason. Uh, why we were, you know, losing so much money. We we'll actually will fire him, I think. Um, and that should give us a, a good bit more income, yeah. Okay, how many more loans do we have? I just, I think just one more. Uh, but anyway, so the Ottomans actually have finished their first war. And one hope of ours is that one thing we kind of have to hope for is we want them to actually, uh, we want the Ottoman, the Ottoman, to actually, um, to actually, well, what, what am I saying? What, what am I, what am I saying here? I don't, I don't know. What, what are you doing? Don't do that. Just go, just go to Athens. Come on, it's easier that way. Anyways, but yeah, I think that the, uh, what, I, I don't, I lost my train of thought now. Jeez. I, it may sound like I'm a little tired. I'm not really. I'm just kind of, like, focused, but 
also not focus on commentating, which is bad, so that's kind of what I'm here to do. Um, I think we will go ahead and start fabricating on you. We're going to say Biga. Biga. Okay, there's one. Let's go in and we're going to bring our troops down here because I don't want to have them right there to be stack wiped when we go to war. I'd rather have them over here and let them uh, recover morale. You know, if they're going to see if they're going to siege Byzantium, they're going to siege Byzantium. There's not much I can do about it. Okay. So the fact that we were able to get that alliance with Poland is really good. It's crucial. And now we're waiting for either A, the Ottomans to go to war with someone else and uh, we call Poland in on favors, or B, until the Ottomans declare war on us, which would almost be preferable. And by almost, I mean almost certainly it would be preferable to the alternative. And they don't have any allies right now, which is one thing to keep in mind. So they wouldn't be the hardest people to attack if we were to attack them, but they'd be pretty darn, they're pretty darn strong, obviously. So we'll have to see what we can do. Okay, so you should mothball. But let's compare right now, military, let's compare army sizes. Right now, the Ottomans are first. Uh, not first, third. First out of all our, our group of allies and enemies. So, Ottomans have a lot of stuff. Oh, they actually have 2,000 manpower right now, though. But they have 30,000 troops, uh, 33,000 force limit. Poland is significantly weak, weaker. Um, however... Lithuania has to be included there. So I don't know, you know, and I and Moldavia and Mazovia. So there's another 10,000 troops there and another 25,000 from Lithuania. So I would say we definitely have the edge, but the problem is getting them to actually declare war with us because there's no way they would, at least not until the truce is over. And even then, actually, it's going to end right about now. Okay, we also have the Renaissance. This is correct. We have the institutions, which is going to really be interesting to see how that interacts with where we are. I'm very curious. Uh, luckily, Venice is near us, so uh, and so is Genoa, so we should be fairly good in, in regards to this. Colonialism, probably going to take quite a while. Um... Well, yeah, Rome is actually the birthplace of the Renaissance. It's kind of funny. Um, build cost, development cost. And they are... Uh, yeah, ooh, excuse me. It's going to just pour through this area. We actually are getting the Renaissance, really, in our in our land. Why? European 10 development province. Okay, makes sense. And, I mean, Constantinople is actually getting it quite a bit because it's 20 development province. Uh... Sure, okay. We'll get Athens' opinion of us and Ottoman to like us more. That's funny. Oh, that's annoying. You can't annex Athens until 54. I wish they could make it so that retroactive ones that started before the historical start of the game could be vassalized. You, you know, that'd be nice. But anyways, yeah, we would really... It'd be really nice of the Ottomans if they would declare war on me right now. I'd really actually like it. So maybe what we'll do is we'll go ahead and say... Ottomans... Oh, we can't actually rival them. I was going to say Ottomans F you. Apparently that's not an option. All right, we'll then do that. Sometimes... You may call me crazy for thinking that would work. Sometimes I've seen it where if you declare... Or you insult them, they'll immediately declare as a result. I have seen that. It can trigger wars. Sometimes <clears throat> sometimes the AI will like consider that a trigger. Um, Basilius, our Basilius Ionis is a architectural visionary. Build cost minus 10%. All right, cool. Okay, there is some stuff. Um, we should definitely take this tech right now while we don't have any penalties associated with it. There'll only be a 1% penalty after this next year for these, but still, 0% is better than 1%. So when we inevitably, most likely, get to clear it on, what is our strategy going to be? Well, we're going to hide in the mountains and then probably run up to Poland and hide in Poland while the Poland-Lithuania blob 
deals with the Byzantine army, and then we'll take our cores back. And hopefully Albania will not die as well. And actually, we could maybe go sit in Albania with Albania and Athens. Hang out with the, the group of us. So what other options do we have to go for as far as people to go to war with? Not a whole lot. Venice is really powerful early on. Um, and they can be even more powerful. Naxos is a vassal of Venice. Genoa is not as powerful as Venice, but they're allied to Venice and they're allied to Austria and Savoy. And that's pretty much it. So, so yeah, not a lot of room to grow. Uh, Cyprus, what about you? You are in independence guaranteed by the Mamluks. And then Kandar was the other one. Kandar is allied to Dulkadur. She definitely starts spying on you. I do think Kandar would be one of the more reasonable people to try to go to war with early on. Because then from there, you could hop into Georgia. Oh, well, they're a vassal of Kara. But still, you could uh, go to war with Trebizond and Theodoro early on. And that is a good option, I think. Especially seeing that they are of our culture group, right? They are of the... Yeah, they're a... Um... Let's see, what is it called? Culture. So there is the... It is the Byzantine culture group. I guess that makes sense. A Byzantine culture group, which includes Greek and also Pontic and Gothic cultures. So there's Pontic cultures up here in Kaffa, which uh, Genoa owns, and we have to own, because it's like a major trade center and whatnot. We have to own Kaffa, and that is Pontic culture, and then there's also Gothic culture in uh, Theodoro, and Pontic culture down in Trebizond, because those were like the main client states or little like vassal states of the Byzantines at this point in history when they were declined so far. Um, which it's very interesting learning about that, but anyway, so that's the that's the plan. We're gonna go ahead and fabricate on we have these, this one and that one is what we have so far. Let's go to Huda Vendiger. Huda Vendiger? I don't know how to say that actually. It's a Turkish name for it, I believe. Um but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and so we fabricate on that. And I have stopped fabricating because I think that's all I about will be able to do, or all that would really make sense to do right now. Okay, well we're making money at least, even if it's not a lot. We're making well, we're making a good chunk. Athens is not a important center of trade or anything, right? No, it's a decent province though. It's actually not super great, but it's decent enough. Um, Ottomans could we call in Poland? No, they don't want any land that I haven't claimed, which is strange to me. <clears throat> it's kind of weird seeing that you could feed your vassal, but I guess it kind of makes sense that they wouldn't really care about doing that. Well, <clears throat> well, either way, what we'll probably do is go to war with Kandar. I do think that that's going to be our best option. They have a six stack there. So let's, they, and their navy is decent size as well. So what is their navy's size? Three, zero, three, one, two, is that all? And so, yeah, it's a decent enough size, maybe like 10, 11 ships. Uh, but we could probably beat that up. And why wouldn't we, obviously? So, oh, we can actually, we can actually fabricate on either one of these. And they're both about the same. We'll fabricate on Sinop because it's actually more important. And then we'll continue to fabricate, I guess, in the, for the other one. Um, but do we want to go to war with them right now? I do think it would be a good idea. Col uh, for culture, Turkish is... Turkish is part of the Levantine group. Now, that's really uh, quite interesting. I remember that they made those changes. I still don't know if I agree with that, but... Okay, so Turkish is prior to the Levantine group. We'll definitely make to bleh, Turkish a promoted culture in our country because that is going to be a lot of land that we're not going to want to have to convert. And we'll probably just spread that down here eventually when we conquer that, if we conquer that. I don't know how long we're going to be playing this campaign past the part where we get the achievement, hopefully. Hopefully I don't give up. Corfu is a vassal of Venice. 
It's almost time to be able to annex uh, Athens, which is good. Integrate them into our country. Okay. Wait a sec. For that, that gives that gives you as a country national manpower modifier plus twenty five percent for the rest of the game. Holy cow, that's really good. Does this? How much is this? This is a lot of stuff. We'll actually have to once we conquer the stuff that I know we have to do. Then we'll see what we're what we're looking like. But uh, okay, so this one, so. The dynasty of our noble Basilius Paleologos Paleo is certainly a powerful one. Uh, I'm thinking about strong ties. Um, okay, so we can ask Poland for money, for administrative aid, diplomatic aid, or military. Uh, administrative, I guess. Will they give it to us? I've never seen that event before. That's really interesting. We should get the response soon, I guess. Hey, only 25, but still. Whatever, that's not a big deal. Either way. So, Dulkader. Dulkader is landlocked. They're not going to be able to actually reach us, I don't think. So, that should be good. We should be fine to be able to just attack them. Oh, we can't, though. We can't actually declare because the Ottomans warned us. I forgot about that whole thing. Well, now I feel silly. Well... I mean, it doesn't really change anything. I guess we're just gonna sit here longer then. Uh, wait till the Ottomans go to war with the, the Mamluks or someone else, you know? Ooh, Poland, you're having some, uh, you got some rebels there, buddy. Uh, okay, I'll do that, yeah. Cool. Well. Well then. Oh god, Volhynian Separatists. Yo, Poland is having some major rebels right now. Can we... I think it's June of 54 when you can influence them and annex them. Wow. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe for more. It's been fun so far. Um, I'm interested to see how we will handle these problems. I'm not seeing a lot of opportunities for growth right now, honestly. But, you know, that's part of the challenge. Thanks for watching, guys. Go leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. And, uh, well, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>